brothers and sisters. I am Marvin G. Celestial, your certified professional psychic and certified Reiki master slash teacher. Welcome to my blogs. Today, I will share with you my fearless prediction for the month of August 2024. Here are as follows. There will be tragedies in waters. Floods all over the North Luzon, some parts of the Visayas regions and Mindanao. A passenger ship will be capsized because of an incident. Many will die. Philippines economy is depleting as inflation rate is getting higher. Daily commodities prices are getting higher too, especially chicken. Importation will be the next solution of the problem. Shortage in supply will bring panic buying. DTI must be active and hands-on to counter this concern. Increase in salary across the board is not enough for the Filipino to add up their daily financial needs for food, utilities, and travel expenses. Department of Labor must be aware of this concern. Business will not be good as expected. Loses are in all corners. The cost of money are less its actual value. 1,000 pesos and not enough for a family of five in a day in Metro Manila. Pastor Apollo Quibaloy, a self-proclaimed the anointed son of God, will still be at large. He has a lot of ways to defy the man-made laws. And escape his legal impediments by just not showing himself in public. He has many means of transportation, airlines, helicopter, and expensive cars. He can hide himself as long as he wants. A famous actor will die because of an incident with a group of people. A young actress will reveal her fertility or reproductive problems. For the president of the Philippines, his performance and trust reading will decline. His security must be strengthened to avoid assassination plot. Inflation rate will soar high again until before December 2024. Vice President Sarah Duterte will be the next president of a united opposition party. The Marcos and Duterte clan conflict will be erupted. The political relationship cannot be restored because of their different political principles and beliefs. Corruption and Pogo are among the top issues in the month of August. Those who scammed a lot of Filipinos were not legally registered Pogos. We don't know who are among the shadows behind Pogo business. Chinese mafia or any group who does the gaming and amusement businesses. I am very sure some of the Filipinos big time businessmen are among of them. If Pogo will be wiped out, it will be detrimental to the Philippines economy. To avoid any problem, a win-win approach will be implemented. Taxes will decline and the Philippines' yearly budget will not be funded accordingly. International loan is the next resolution to be implemented. Mayor Alasqua will face any legal issue that Senators Hontiveros and Gachalian accused her upon. She will surrender and undergo the legal process, not the Senate inquiry. She don't want to fall into a trial due to publicity. Will the court accept the Senate inquiry result? Brother and sisters, remember this. The Senate or the House of the Representative does the inquiry or investigation just to aid legislation, not to establish guilt or innocence. An epidemic in some provinces are inevitable. First week of August a lot of dengue with new variant and potency will be declared. It will last until January 2025. DSWD and DOH will work hand in hand to serve the Filipinos. Fatalities are expected. A woman political icon will die because of massive heart attack. A lot will mourn of her death. Peso versus US dollar rate will continue to increase. Disclaimer, my predictions are just the product of my mental energy. Take it wisely and sparingly. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.